Hello and welcome to Yourpedia. My name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CSC at Yourpedia. So today uh, we have selected theory of computations and we have selected questions from past year that were asked in the NIC exam. So today we will try to solve them and uh, we will try to see what type of difficulty level that can be asked in the theory of computation. Now the first question is a regular expression is a plus b star c is equivalent to now what is a plus b star c now in regular expression our string can take as there is plus in between our string can take this side or this side so our string will have a can a, a set of string with either a so our string can have either a and for b star plus c now b star b star is a clean closure so you can take any number of b's you can take 0 b you can take 1 b you can take 2 b's you can take 3 b's and so on and after that there is one occurrence of c so you have to take at that c in all the cases so the first option is set of string with either a or one or more occurrences of b followed by 1 c now you can see that it is saying that one or more occurrences no it should be zero or more occurrences of b followed by c so the correct option should be c will be our correct option set of string with either a or you can take zero or more occurrences of b followed by c now you can see a plus b star c but what if you can write it this way it will also make sense you can take this part or you can take this part it will also uh, means the same so you can write this regular expression in this way also so the correct option is option b and option c so the correct option is option d now the next question is recursive enumerable languages are closed under now as far as recursive enumerable languages it is the biggest subset of languages that is possible so we uh, we have a table that we study in theory of computation when you will join uh, you uh, when you will join the full course for theory of computation or the nic preparation we will be studying this <coughs> in a great depth where there will be a table for all the languages and we have all the properties where the table will let you know which will be closed under which uh, language will be closed under which property but as far as recursive enumerable are concerned let there are some properties first is union then is intersection then there is complement then there is concatenation then there is uh, clean closure then uh, reversal then there is clean closure then there is homomorphism of l then there is inverse homomorphism of l any language l and when that language is is recursive enumerable that is re language so re is closed under all the operations except complement so when you study that table you will be able to remember that r is you need to you don't need to remember where it is closed you need to remember where it is not closed so r is not un closed under complement now set difference is a type of a property that is derived from some other expression so set difference is nothing but a minus b this is the set difference so any language minus some language if you open this it will give you l1 union intersection l2 bar a minus b is nothing but this is a and if this is b a minus b is nothing but this part and if you take l1 and take its this is l1 whole this whole part is l1 and if you take its it intersection with l2 complement now if you complement l2 it will be everything except l2 and what is the common part the common part is this only this is the common part so this is set difference so if you see if you take the complement if you take the complement in here and l2 is recursive now you know that l2 is not closed under complement so if it is not under closed under complement how it will be closed under set difference so again a will also be correct so bo both a and b will be our answer <clears throat> Now these type of questions, these type of questions uh, have very high probability that they will be asked in the NIC interview, uh, NIC uh, exam because these questions 
in order to solve this you just need to understand the graph sorry uh, in order you, you need to understand the table and if you understand the table and if you remember the table you will be easily able to answer this what you have to do here is what is uh, RA languages are not closed under yes complement not closed under complement B option and set difference uh, is uh, is calculated using uh, complement so you will know that uh, again it will not be closed under set difference so it is pretty easy and it is pretty it will take 10 to 20 seconds of your time but if you know how to make the table and how to remember the table we will not just cram the table we will we will learn how to remember the, how to remember the table uh, so that you don't forget in, in in the exam after that next question is let's say what is the meaning of regular expression delta star 0 0 1 delta star now delta star is let's say that delta is in set of alphabets 0 or 1 now delta star means that star is clean closure now i have told you before in star you can take the value 0 times you can take the value 1 times you can take the value 2 times and so on so if you take this 0 plus 1 star if you write it this way now all the strings possible on 0 and 1 will be covered by this everything you can make let's say that you want to make 0 0 0 1 so what you will do is you will take the star value as 5 and now this will behave like 0 plus 1 raised to power 5 so the first 0 plus 1 you will take 0 for the second 0 plus 1 0 again 0 again 0 and for the last 0 plus 1 you will take 1 so 0 plus 1 raised to power 5 you can make this string using this so this is a super set of all the languages every language and every string possible will be present in this super set so what you are doing is you are making everything here and you are making everything here and in between you have 0 0 1 so what it is telling us that it will what is the meaning of regular expression any substring containing any string containing 0 1 as a substring so any string possible all the strings that are possible will uh, which are having 0 0 1 as their substring now if you take this epsilon's value as uh, sorry this star's value as 0 then the length of this will be 0 you take this as 0 then there is 0 0 1 and then you take this 0 plus 1 as 1 so the string you can make from this is 0 0 1 from this 0 0 1 and from this you can make 0 or you can make 0 0 1 1 so these are two type of thing but both will have 0 0 1 as their substring so it is covering any string containing 0 0 1 as a substring next is the collection of Turing recognizable languages are closed under now again there is a little point here that uh, if you uh, if you are studying the theory of competition you will know that Turing recognizable language are nothing but RE languages so if you know that Turing recognizable languages are RE language and you know RE is closed everywhere except complement so it is not closed under complement so union intersection concatenation so one two and four and star closure also it is uh, closed so the correct option will be option c again if you know the table if you know how to remember the table if you have understood the table you will be uh, answering this question pretty easily and it will be a pretty easy one mark to score in the exam again next is which of the following statements are false now this is from compiler so it is saying that LR0 grammar and SLR1 grammar are equivalent. Now, if you know, now when we study gate, we study the compiler, uh, the parsers in very depth. But in NIC, they will not, uh, uh, not be asking you uh, such questions which are in great depth. So, they will be asking from the theoretical concept or if it is a numerical, it will be a pretty basic numerical. So, you need to understand the uh, just the concept in order to solve because if you understood the con concept and if you know all the topics then you will be pretty uh, easily be answering the question so as far as grammars are concerned these are some parser so parsing power is lr0 parser is very less powerful after that slr1 is more powerful then lar1 is more powerful 
After that, most powerful parser is CLR1, which is also called LR1 parser. So CLR1 is nothing but LRR1 parser. So it is first is saying LR1 grammar and SLR1 grammar are equivalent. No, if the parsers have different power, then how the grammar produced by them will have say uh, will be equal. So S1 is false. Second is L1 grammar are subset of LALR1 grammar. No, LR1 LR1 parser is more powerful than LALR1 parser. So how does the grammar of LR1 will be subset of LR, LALR1? So this is also false. So again both S1 which of the following statement are false? Both S1 and S2 are false. So again in order to understand this uh, question you need to understand how the compiler works. What are the grammars? What are the, uh, what are the power of the parser? And what type of grammars will be passed by the grammar by, by those parser and what type of strings will be passed by those grammars so i hope you understood the concept behind the question and i hope you understood that in order to crack this exam you don't need so you don't need to go in so much depth you just need to cover all the basic topics and if you are covering each and every topic and uh, each and every part of the syllabus you will be pretty easily be answering these questions so i hope you understood this concept so for more videos like this, keep watching and keep preparing. Thank you.